Good morning, dear students. This is the third session on the second module of the paper Informatics, which is prescribed for the fifth semester VA English students as one of their core courses under Calicut University. The module is titled Basics of Computer Hardware. The previous sessions were about the input and output devices. In this video, we are talking about the Central Processing Unit or CPU. CPU is the brain of any computer system. It is the computing part of the computer and is also called the microprocessor or central processor. In a computer system, all calculations and comparisons are made inside the CPU. It is also responsible for activating and controlling the operations of other units of a computer system. The CPU usually performs four steps in most of its operations. They are fetch, decode, execute, and write back. The first step, fetch, involves retrieving an instruction from program to memory. In the decode step, the instruction is broken up into parts that have significance to other portions of CPU. After fetch and decode steps, the execute step is performed. During this performance, the connected portions of the CPU enact the desired operation. The final step write back simply writes back the results of the executed step to some form of memory. Now, components of the CPU. The components of the CPU are grouped into two. First, processing devices and the second, memory or storage devices. Processing is the core function of a computer. It is the stage where raw data is transformed into information. The data could be made useful only after processing. Components that manipulate data into information are categorized under processing. The microprocessor is the major device in this category. It works closely with primary memory during its operations. Data is stored temporarily in processor cache and primary memory during the processing period. Now, the different types of processors. Since the processor handles all kinds of information, choosing the right processor is probably the most important thing when buying a computer. Two popular processors are Intel Computer Processor and AMD Computer Processor. Now, Control Unit. Control Unit is the nerve center of the computer. It performs the following functions. First one, fetches the instruction from the primary memory at the location pointed to by the program counter register. Second, decodes the instruction in the instruction register. Third, executes the instruction by sequencing a series of control signals to other components of the CPU. Fourth, controls all data transfer between various components. The next part, arithmetic and logic unit or ALU. During a data processing operation, it is in the ALU that the actual execution of the instruction takes place. All the arithmetic and logic operations are made in the ALU. Basic arithmetic functions which an ALU can carry out include addition and subtraction. More powerful CPUs can support additional mathematical operations like multiplication and division. The logical operation the ALU carries out includes 
comparison operations like greater than, equal to, and less than. Memory or storage devices. Components that retain or store data are classified under memory or storage devices. Storage is subdivided under primary and secondary memory and is either volatile or non-volatile. Primary memory usually refers to random access memory or RAM, but can also refer to all memory that works in tandem with the processor. RAM is volatile, meaning that it retains data only when the computer is powered up. The central processing unit, CPU, or accelerated processing unit, APU, reads instructions stored in this memory and executes them as required. Some examples of the primary memory are shown below. Secondary memory devices. Secondary memory is labeled as such because data stored within secondary storage or secondary storage media, usually disk drives or something like that, do not communicate directly with the microprocessor. So this data stored in secondary memory devices normally do not communicate directly with the microprocessor of any computer. Any data stored in such media is first transferred to a RAM device for processing to take place. This type of memory is also non-volatile since it permits long time storage as opposed to volatile memory. Secondary memory is subdivided into two categories, internal devices and external devices. Internal devices are designed to be placed inside the computer at all times. Examples, hard disk and solid state disk drives. External devices are plug and play media used to transfer files between computers. Examples include optical disk, flash disk, external disk drives or external hard disk. So here comes an end to this session on central processing unit. This is also the third and last video or session on basics of computer hardware, the second module of the paper informatics. Thank you.